Hi, my name is Nathaniel Iverson, and today we want to talk about Illumio's architecture for adaptive segmentation. At Illumio, our architecture begins with something that we call a policy compute engine. And this is the centralized point of control for us for all of the various inputs from the infrastructure, and it provides a centralized place from which to dispense policy. So the inputs to the policy compute engine are several. First of all, it gathers a variety of visibility information from the workloads as well as from the infrastructure. Things like uh, the ports and the protocols and the destinations and the processes that are behind those ports and protocols. That information is all taken into the of the policy compute engine, where it's then analyzed using graph theory. And what we're able to do then is actually draw rich application dependency maps that show the exact connectivity of all the various workloads and components inside the, the data center. And we're able to then add to that picture metadata, things like names and labels from host names, from, uh, from CMDBs, from Active Directory, and things like that, that make the picture have the names that you're used to using to talk about things. It's also a place where policy can be input, and then that policy can also be displayed on top of those application dependency maps so that you can actually start to build, model, and test any type of adaptive segmentation um, policy that you want to implement in the environment. So that provides a layer for centralized control. But the other thing that Illumio provides is a way to actually distribute the enforcement across everything that you've already spent money on. So for example, one of the other major portions of our solution is something that we call a VEN. It's a lightweight agent, a virtual enforcement node, and it basically runs inside of Windows and Linux operating systems. And what it does is it actually sends back some of the connection table information, uh, things like the ports, the protocols, and the processes. And so it does that for sure for visibility. And the other thing that it does is it actually manages the firewall that's built into the operating system. So this is IP tables if it's a Linux box, it's the Windows filtering platform if it's a Windows machine. And in this way, all of the firewalls in all of the workloads can be turned into a large distributed firewall that's under centralized control. The other things that the policy compute engine can manage are things like switches and load balancers and security groups, perhaps inside of Amazon. These all have the ability to take ACLs, and so they too can receive a security policy from the policy compute engine. This architecture has several other advantages. One of them is that you have the visibility that you need to make fine-grained policy. It turns out that by getting information from inside the workload, that you actually have everything you need in the policy compute engine to actually do fine-grained policy. If you don't have information from inside the workload, you ultimately have no ability to see containers. You have no ability to deal with things like Java virtual machines. You can't actually know what processes are actually bound to certain ports. So if the only visibility that you get is from a hypervisor switch or from a network switch or a router or a centralized firewall, you'll never actually have the visibility that you need to make an adaptive segmentation policy. So by being able to have information coming not only from the network, but also from inside the workloads, you end up with the kind of visibility that you need to, uh, to uh, make a fine-grained policy and actually enforce it. So there's a number of other things that we could talk about with respect to the PCE and the VEN, and we'll do that in future videos. But in terms of the architecture that Illumio has for adaptive segmentation, it begins with a policy compute engine that centralizes control, and then we actually use the whole environment and the things you've already invested in in order to distribute the enforcement across the, the rest of the infrastructure. 